Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is Captain Cowboy here with another video on Iron Throne. And today we're going to be talking about version update 4.0.0, which is the big first anniversary event update for Iron Throne. So some of the new things that we're getting is a revamping to the dimensional battle system, getting uh, the ability to combine upgrade hammers, so in case you run out of uh, lower of higher tier hammers and they're all lower tiers you can go and combine them back up similar similar to how you can combine materials now just um and then you can also have a new hero skill system so let's go ahead and get into all of this and let's start off with the hero system so hero system goes hand in hand with our dimensional system so dimensional battle we have dimensional power that we can utilize sort of like a p for dimension you get a hundred per day at reset it takes every six minutes you can regain one dp and it would take about 10 hours that way to go ahead and restock so if you were to do your dimensional battles all at reset you would be able to do three full sets of 108 uh, dp per day so let's go ahead and take a look at our hero skill system here um, each hero has a, um, a rarity level. So it starts off basic, common, uncommon, rare, epic, and then immortal. Similar to our equipment as well as was well the runes and auras. They have two different, uh, skills that you get a new skill once your rarity goes up. So we start off with two skills. We have a dimensional battle skill and a world skill. And you can see here, the higher our level um the more we can unlock so if we take a look here we can see that we have a one out of one so because i have nothing into infidus he's only a basic hero i can't put any skills into him anymore i can only have one level into it but i also get a plus 16 based on my equipment so we'll go ahead and we'll jump back over to our forge and we'll take a look at as to how that impacts us here in a minute so one thing that we can look at here now is that we have required materials to go ahead and upgrade these um, heroes. So let's go ahead and take a look. And there's different materials based on the hero. So like Emilio here has a, cl uh, a club. Uh, no, that's not a club. That's a clover. I'm not very smart, but that's okay. Here we have a club. So we could go ahead and let's say we want to upgrade Zhao Yun. So let's go ahead and hit upgrade. And it brings us from that common to just common plus one now when we go from common to uncommon we unlock a new skill level and our increase our maximum skill level how many points we can put into each skill it goes up from six to nine so i can go ahead and i can just pump up all my skill points into these levels so i'm getting deployable troop size so if i click on it i can gain i already have 300 deployable troop size from this skill and I have an extra plus 750 based on my he uh, equipment being plus 15. Now with Shockwave, if we click on it, we can see that it has a knockdown damage of 1575 and then my equipment plus 15 gives me an extra 225. Now level 30 gear being plus 15 has a different impact from level 40 gear being plus 15. So that all plays a role into this and it's all about just finding out what works best for you. So now we just moved into the uncommon realm. We have a new skill that automatically went up to level nine for max skill. And let's just go ahead and see how far we can take this. So now we're uncommon plus two. And now let's go ahead and move into the rare realm. So now I don't have any rare um, materials, but I have a couple new skills and I have a much higher maximum skill level. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, if I want to go and get these uh, materials for free every day when I go and spend my daily uh, DP, I can go directly to these battles. Now, I haven't completed those battles, so I can't go and do that. But if I had completed them, that is exactly how I would be able to accomplish that. So that takes a care of our hero skill level. Now we can go and take a look at our forge in our set codex. And let's scroll down to just around slaughter. And if you click on the set over here and scroll down to say a plus five set bonus, 
we would see that we would have all hero skill levels increase of four. So what that is saying is by having a plus five set of level 40 gear, you get an additional four skills. So you remember how we had that plus 15, that plus 20? Well, that accounts for the plus four uh, that we were seeing there. So let's go ahead, open up our dimensional battle and take a look here. So we'll go and we can see that we can do each one of these battles five times per day. And for each one, you get these rewards. So for this one, we're getting uncommon token of heart times three, as well as other rewards. Now, the rest of it looks pretty similar to what we're used to. We see our enemy heroes, we see their enemy troops that they're utilizing, and their tier. So now let's go ahead and start the battle. We can set up our formation. So first things first is we always want to utilize four heroes. So I'm going to choose my favorite four heroes that I like their skills for. And we can combine those skills in order to get the best benefit. So, for example, we have one hero that has a snaring ability. So that is Carl. Carl has the ability to snare and drag in enemies to you. If you combine that with an AoE, or you combine that with the ability to do some knockdown damage, well, that is going to give you the best benefit by combining two skills. Now, if you don't really know what you're doing, you can always hit auto and it will automatically utilize skills in order, for, you know, in order to take care of the enemy troops. So that's what we're doing. If you know what you want to do and you're trying to figure it out to utilize in dual, you might not want to utilize auto, but you can always speed up your battle get out of here sooner now dual only occurs about once every eight hours so it's very important to get in there when it is available i can't show it to you because it is not part of that eight hours right now however it looks very similar to this dimensional battle you're paired up with enemies from either your own kingdom or other kingdoms and you just have a regular real-time battle so it's real time and then you get uh rewards afterwards so yeah, here we can see that in seven hours we would be able to go and enter into the dual arena. Thank you all for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as that like as well. Thank you all for watching. This is Captain Cowboy.